up in lights. He just wants to be heard, whether it's the beat of the mic. He feels so unlike everybody else alone in spite of the fact that... And good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? This is Mike with Morning with Mike. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody had a good night's sleep. It's Friday. And on Fridays, we're going to try something a little bit different. We're going to call, we're going to start doing this thing called Friday Fires. Sorry, Friday Fire. Basically what it is is we talk about controversial stuff. Such as the flat earth. Is the earth flat? Is the earth round? Who knows? Black lives matter. White lives matter. Police lives matter. But today, we're going to start off with Colin Kaepernick. But before we get into any of that, any of that at all, uh, we are going to get a special guest on the phone. His name is Mike Holmes. Let me uh, plug in the phone here. Yeah, his name's going to be Mike Holmes is his name. But before we get into that, if you're watching us on YouTube Live, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're listening to us on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, etc., be sure to give that a follow and, uh, you know, just give us a ranking. If it's five stars, awesome. And if not, explain to me why so we can make the show better. But either way, rank us. Share the motherfucker. You know... Hey, have fun, do what we do. But, like I said, we have a special guest on the line today, Michael Holmes. Michael, how you doing today? Hey, I'm doing good, man. How you doing? Hey, we're doing good. So, as I met Michael through a uh, Facebook group here, it looks like he's having a little bit of phone static going on. But we'll, we'll work with it, we'll work with it. So, Colin Kaepernick and Nike has uh, signed a $19 million deal with each other. Basically, Colin Kaepernick is the face of Nike now. All these people now are upset because Colin Kaepernick has taken a knee for the National Anthem a couple years ago. People are now cutting Nike switches out of their socks, burning their shoes, burning their jerseys. But I'll give you my point of view on it here in a little bit. But Michael, let me hear your view. Colin Kaepernick, All right. go ahead and... Well, l l let us have it, I'm, man. Let, let, let us have it. I'm kind of seeing this from, from two different angles. First off, if anybody in their right mind, if Nike walked up to you, here's a $19 million contract, you're going to take it, regardless of who you are. So I'm not mad at the guy for taking this contract. Bet your ass I'd do it too. Um, all these people burning stuff in the streets, they're the ones that would take that $19 million. True. Now, at the same time, I kind of, I kind of got an issue with Kaepernick when, when it comes down to this, this, this big new word everybody's using, the collusion. This, this, the, the NFL is colluding against them. Let me go ahead and file a lawsuit, and that, that, that's really bothering me right now. Uh, first off, you can't sue somebody that you want to work for. It doesn't work like that. Well, you want to talk about getting blackballed, you're going to blackball yourself. Well, be permanently. Before we get too carried into that, explain okay. to them what the collusion is. Like, what is the emphasis of him suing the the NFL? It's to where everybody's colluding against him that he, he's being blackballed pretty much. So basically what you're saying is, is like the teams do not want him in the, like in the league because of the kneeling issue, correct? Correct. Okay. Just so the viewers that are not sports people, they understand what's going on. So now, basically what has happened is he was, quote unquote, kicked out of the NFL a couple of years ago because he was taking a knee during the national anthem. And now the owners are are making a group saying we don't want this guy in here. And that's what he is suing for, supposedly. So Supposedly. Yeah. Now, now I, I, I don't like your, your, your phrase kicked out. Okay. Now, I understand that. I'm pretty sure San Francisco wanted to part ways with him. Yeah, I mean, because he's a, but it was he's a horrible player. He, he voluntarily left. Okay. He, he wasn't kicked out. He voluntarily left. Gotcha. So then, you know, this whole, oh, I can't get a job. I can't get a job. 
Baltimore offers you a contract. Did they lowball you? Yeah, probably. But Baltimore offered you a contract. Now that's two that you've walked away from. And then May rolls around this, this past May, Denver offers you a contract. What do you do? You walk away from it. And, and my biggest thing with Denver, you got Keenum and Kelly there. He, he, I mean, he would have probably, but, been, but, he but, probably but, been the starter there. But exactly. Those yeah. are the only two guys you had to compete with. And they cut now, one did of they them. lowball you? Yeah. But once you play starter and you start working these incentives and earn your keep again, you were good to go. So that's three teams. What? There's 32 teams. That's almost 10% of, of, of all teams you had an opportunity to play for and you walked away from. Well, it. when you say lowball, I mean, that's kind of a misconstrued. I mean, he was a player out of the NFL looking for work. So any contract at this point would be money it's in his pocket. So exactly. So when you say lowball him, yeah, he is not making that hundred million dollars that you know Joe Flacco or Tom Brady, Brady is, but he's not those guys. So he is a tier three quarterback that might win you a few games. But I'm, go ahead. I'm not saying that yeah. that he should be getting a hundred million dollars, but he should be getting more James Winston right now. Why? He's proven himself. Jameis hasn't done anything. Uh, he has proven himself by being basically cut by the 49ers. Is like, is that proving yourself? Is uh, going I'll say stat going for what stat like on the field two and nine? I mean, is that proving yourself? But at the same time, if you go ahead and take this 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 great legend Tom Brady and put him on the Cleveland Browns, he's going to have a Kaepernick record. Um, possibly. <laughs> It depends. So, it depends on what Browns you put them on. If you put them on this year's Browns, they're a Super Bowl contending team. Oh well, yeah. But yeah. if you put them on three years ago Browns, right. he's, he's done. He's, they're probably a five hundred team. Yeah. But it it really bugs me that that you know, like I'm saying, ten pretty much ten percent of the teams have offered you a contract and you've walked away from it, and now you want to sue the people that you want to work for. You want to talk about blackballing yourself, you'll never get a job again. You're done. And and my take on this, how I wholeheartedly feel, you want to get paid for doing nothing. So, I mean, like, he is now the face of the Nike brand, more or less, during this NFL season, which is kind of uh, – maybe Nike's kind of trying to give it to the NFL as well because Nike did sign a big deal with the NFL to do all of their jerseys, hats, pants, shoes, et cetera. And but and now Colin Kaepernick is now the face of Nike. So every NFL game, you're you're going to be seeing Colin Kaepernick's face. You know, every like like every game. So how do you feel about that? Like, do you think this is kind of Nike kind of poking the NFL? I think it is. Um, I think I think this is. This is this this could go one of two ways. This could have the NFL go ahead and give in, or this could end Nike's contract with the NFL. And, and I'm not. I, I understand that that yes, they they've got it for the next ten years. But you know, once once this is done, you know, wipe your hands clean of them. We'll go to Under Armour, and that's a massive massive loss for nike don't get me wrong they're they, they're filthy rich i'm sure they're not worried about it yeah but you know that's you know that's you know 10 billion dollars that you're no longer going to receive that's a lot of dough well and, and 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 when you come up just like kaepernick's doing and you're poking the bear when you're poking your employer bad things are going to happen yeah i mean and i wouldn't necessarily it is the nfl that's quote unquote blackballing colin it's more of the owners i mean I, i'm sure the NFL would love to have him in because that brings more viewers to say watching the first game like hey is he like is he going to kneel I mean like if you look at this from an NFL standpoint if Colin Kaepernick is in is in the NFL right now I bet you viewership goes up 20 percent strictly just to see if he kneels and if the commentators are going to talk about it etc 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 see but, but it did go down 30 percent while he was in uh, that may have been just the fact that so the TV, it, the, know, the TV ratings in general are starting to go down too. I mean, it's kind of thir thir up. thirty percent yeah. in one year. 
Yeah. I could see a decline. You lose five this year, three you know, the right, next right, year, right. but 30% in one year, that's a lot to lose. So as I'm a, like, I, I don't know you that, that like that well, by like any means, but I'm assuming you are an NFL fan, right? Absolutely. If Colin Kaepernick starts playing, say for the Denver Bron- Broncos week three, week four, are you going to watch the NFL still? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I, I, okay. I'm a sports fan. If it, you know, people want to bring their politics and and personal beliefs into it and whatever. You know what? That's their thing. That's fine. I'm 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 there for the sporting aspect of it. So why do you think the viewership went down thirty percent when he was taking these? Was it because of the fact that other people in the NFL were taking ease or was just the fact that Colin Kaepernick was taking ease because he's a young black man? I don't think it went down because of him solely. Um, I think, you know, that sure raised a lot of eyebrows, but right. then when other players started to follow suit, that's when, that's when people wipe their hands clean of it. Yeah. And as a sports fan, fan myself, like if you remember like maybe even 10 years ago, like the national anthem was never played on TV like they would always go to a commercial the players would would usually go back into the locker rooms do the pregame like you know meetings and stuff like in there and then they would play the national anthem like in there but recently within like the you know like the last I want to say seven years is is when the is when the NFL said hey you guys need to be on the field during the national anthem yada 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 but let me take this this kind of stand on you we are criticizing Colin Kaepernick for taking a knee during the national anthem, right? So when we are watching the game at our house, sitting on the couch, drinking a beer, eating like eat, like eating eating some chips, are you standing during the national anthem when they played on played on TV? Uh, okay, two things. Um, as far as him taking a knee, yeah, I have never publicly criticized whatsoever. That's my personal opinion, and it's within my house, and I keep it there. Um, but as far as standing in your living room, if you pull up whatever regulation that you desire, you stand if you are present for the anthem. On TV is not present. Well, we now, are we now, are in theory p- present for it because it's it's playing and we're watching it. So that's in, that's, that's in a that's, in a when, roundabout when, way when, we are in presence of that. When 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 you look in to when you're supposed to stand. Um, it's when you're at the event itself. Okay. But at now, now, now at the same time, if, if, if we take this all the way back to the seventies and do, I'm not sure if you're old enough to remember, but, um, I'm sure you've seen the picture or, or, or possibly watched it when, uh, at the Olympics and they were standing on the podium, head down, fist raised in the air, but oh, yeah. nobody stopped watching the Olympics. Right. So how is this any different? I, I totally, I, I totally agree with you on that 100%. Like there, like I cannot try to poke at that like at all. But in the defense of the Olympics, the Olympics is only four years. You know, every four years or every two years if you count the summer, like Olympics, uh, lack as well. So the minds of Americans or people in general is we are short term. Is like what have you done for us like right now? So, uh, so. Like that happened in like seventy one or seventy two. I mean, like the next Olympics is until nineteen seventy six. So we've forgotten all like like all about that by that point. So right, and that's, and that's which, the only which, thing I could think of. Which which brings up you know how how quick we are to forget. And right. if you know you bring Kaepernick back in, if you got one or two options here, one sit down with him and the other players, and instead of the NFL or the player side of it just complaining. Let's find some solutions. For minus, yep. Or two, find a solution. Leave, leave it 100% alone. Don't discuss it. And you know what? We'll be back how we were back in the 70s, how, how quick we forget. And nobody would discuss it again. It would be done. Well, I mean, like, I I feel like that's the, that's the only reason why it is a big issue is because we as a viewer or people in general keep bringing it up. Do you remember back in 2017 or like 2014 when Kaepernick kneeled for the national anthem? Like, if you just leave it alone, this would all go away. This would all be poof, you know, gone. But yep. we need some. We need drama in our lives. I mean, like at the at the end of the day, people strive for drama. That's that's what makes them like I guess kick. 
and uh, so we keep bringing up something. So it's kind, it's kind of like you're, say you're married and your wife's like, "Hey, did you do the d- d- dishes like this like this past week?" And she can keep poking at you and poking at you for the next year. Like, oh, there's a, you know, there's a plate in the sink. Are you like, are you, are you, are you going to clean that or are you going to forget like you did like like a year ago? It like you know it like it's kind of like that. Like they. Sh- like this drama is driving somebody to talk about something. And to be honest, this is a great move by Nike in general, because now people that were strictly Adidas, Under Armour, Puma, etc., they're talking about Nike now. Yeah, yes, Nike stock did drop like what, like $3.3 million in a day or something, or something like that. But People are it, it, people are talking about Nike, 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 Nike. Every you you can turn on CNN, CSNBC, ESPN, ESPN Two, Fox Sports Net. They're talking about this Colin Kaepernick ad. So Nike is getting free press everywhere you go. Think about this. This is the same thing that Labar or uh, well, what's the guy's name? Ball. Uh, what is his yep. name? This is the same thing he did for the big baller brand. He was getting free. Pl- free publicity everywhere he went because he was dogging you know the lakers kobe bryant like he he was throwing shade on everybody he could so people would bring him on to his show he would wear the big baller brand wear his 200 dollars shoes talk about his clothing line his shoe line for free in front of millions of people and nike is doing the exact same thing this is free press for them do you agree with that there's there's no such thing as bad press. It, 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 like exactly, people are talking it, talking about if, you. People are, are talking it, about you, and they're going to look at you, like if, good if or bad. You look up if if you look up uh, Miley Cyrus, right? People can't stand this woman, but you know what? When her song comes on, you know what it is. Oh, but her name she, her name's still coming out your mouth. She's Same thing though. with Nike. She's sexy though. Let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> she's kind of like trailer trash sexy. Hey. Trailer trash is sexy to me, though. No. <laughs> but, 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 but as, yes. As, as far as Nike, they're, right. they're a $127 billion company. And I'm sure losing any money is not good, but that 3%, that was like a $3 billion loss. Right. That was a lot of money to yeah. lose. And now, now the question is, in the long run, is this eventually going to benefit them, or is is this the nail in the coffin for Nike? Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Tell you. Tell, tell you this. When like when their stock dropped, I bought some stock for them because I feel it is going to like this is this is going to catapult them. Yes, they they may have dropped three or four percent or whatever it was, but this they might rebound to ten percent more, twelve percent more because everybody is talking talking about them. And think about this. All these people that are burning their shoes in the streets, burning their socks. <laughs> these people have already. <laughs> the, first of all, these people are fucking stupid. Okay. Yeah. You, they, they, you they spend one hundred twenty dollars on a pair of shoes and you're burning them just because of Kaepernick. First of all, Nike already got your money when you bought those shoes a year ago. <laughs> like, like, okay. But when the new Jordans come come I'm out in a few months, that's going to be the same exact person standing in line spending three. Three hundred dollars on a pair of pair of Jordans because he doesn't have them anymore because he burned them last like last like exactly last, like, like like just like last month. So this is a great move by N- Nike, and I can tell you one hundred percent that a lot of people hate this. Like a lot of army people hate this. I I I I texted my dad just this just this just this morning just to have him you know because he likes to tune into the show and kind of. You know, just kind of chit chat and stuff about it. And the first thing out of his first thing out of his mouth, he said, "Fuck Colin Kaepernick, fuck Nike." But yet, he has Nike shoes on right now. I have Nike shoes on right now. <laughs> well, see, see so, now, 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 I'm 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 a vet myself, and and you have every right to kneel, every right, right. Yet, at, yet at the same time. You stand for the men and women that gave you that right to kneel. Correct. You stand because we lost the greatest generation of men in history. You know, we beat Nazi Germany or Imperial Japan right now. That, but that, to me, that's why you stand. That was the one thing that this country had left that united us. 
that 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 was it. That was all that we had. And now that's gone as well. So and um like I did not know you are a vet and thank you for serving and honoring us and that kind of thing. Um now I've talking to many vets because I I like I work with, with like vets at like at my job, plus my dad's a vet, etc. That that they're on two opposite sides of the fence. There there's usually no middle ground. Either they're fuck Colin Kaepernick, stand your ass up, or they're saying, hey, I fought for 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 you to give this right. Do you agree with that? Like the vets are kind of separated. Like there's one side of the fence or the other. There's no standing in like in the middle. You know what? Um, I think I, I think that there is middle ground, and I I kind of feel that's kind of where I'm sitting right now. Because do I like him kneeling for it? No, not at all. But at the same time, I sit down and drink a beer with that man. Right. You, you know, I, because you you still have that right, and that's the great thing about this place. You know, you're allowed to do that. You know, that's 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 what is supposedly you know what makes America great. I mean, I totally, and, and, I totally, I totally agree with you on that. So, I'm sorry. You know, and and you know, a lot of these people, you know, they uh, they hate the fact that that this guy's kneeling. Yet, they'll go out and you know do something controversial themselves. Or people, you know, love that this guy's kneeling and oh, he has every right. But you don't have a right to do this though. And and you know, they ride both sides of the fence here. You yeah. know, you can't be the pimp and the prostitute. You got to pick one or the other. Exactly. And, and and to me, you know what? I don't like it, but he's got the right to. So you know, I can't knock this man. Yeah, it just me and like the vets that I talk to also are very outspoken type of people since they are 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 retired from the army, military. You know that they can kind of finally voice their opinion like like without re repercussions. So I feel like you know they are going to be extreme one way or the other because they've been in the military for so long and they had to keep hush. You know, they've had to support things that they don't sub support. And now they have finally have something to voice their opinion on. They're going to speak it. So I, like, I feel like that's probably why the only people that I've associated with, or talked to like about this are so extreme one way or the other. I mean, I, I could be wrong, but that's just kind of my opinion on it. And my no, 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 you're not wrong at all. There is, there was, and you know, a lot of it's just little stuff, but there was there was a lot of stuff that you know it was just like, all right, you know, I just don't agree with this. But hey, uh, you, you know, I want to get paid tomorrow, so exactly. all right, suck it up and you know, suck it up and do it. Yeah, and I've heard of stories of somebody making a a tweet about like Obama, for like example. Oh, I like he, like it like it wasn't anything about like killing like kill, killing Obama or anything like that. It was just it was something like like I don't I don't a I don't a like a I don't like what he's doing or something like that. It, it, it was something very vague, and he was like court-martialed like the very next day. So it was just it was it was kind of ironic like how quick that escalated type thing on like on his part. It's it's the the, the way the military runs. Look, everybody is the color green. Right. There's no race, religion, creed, denomination. There's nothing. Everybody's the color green. Your political b beliefs don't matter. Your sexual beliefs don't matter. It, it, green in the discussion and if you alter left or right from that then you know there's hell to pay so let's just get back on the calling issue a little bit here so are you for nike making him the face of it like are you going to boycott nike and not buy their clothes shoes or like whatever well i'm not gonna you can you can dig up any any company in the world and Every single one of them's done something shady or shysty. They support somebody that you don't support, and that, that's not going to stop me from, you know, buying food for the family. It's not going to happen. So, and I, so, so, it, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not out spending, you know, hundred bucks on a pair of Jordans, but, you know, last week I went and got a pair of Nike Shocks. This ad just came out. If I wouldn't have got them last week, I still would have got them this week. Right. So, you know, it's. I mean. I'm actually looking at an article right, right right here. So apparently Adidas, Puma, and Reebok have all offered Colin Kaepernick money to become face of their companies before Nike signed them. Um, 
it, it looks like Adidas offered him $10 million. Reebok was like around eight or nine and uh, Puma was like six or s seven. So he said no to all, to all of those other contracts. And then Nike comes in with a $19 million con con contract to, and then he signed it. Do you think this is a good play? I mean, just like, I'm just thinking on the, thinking on the fly here, like Colin Kaepernick signs with N N Nike. Nike is a face of NFL. He wants back into the NFL, but he's suing the NFL. So do you think this is Colin kind of like sticking it to the man kind of like, like, Hey, like, Oh, absolutely. Like you were absolutely. Biggest, but yeah. I, it's absolutely him sticking it to the man, but I think it was the smartest move for these other shoe companies to let Nike go ahead and have him. Look, Adidas is in enough trouble with what happened out in Arizona. <laughs> yeah. And look, you, you, you can't afford this because you're, you're, you're barely hanging on right now to what sponsorship you have. And uh, Puma, who? They, they were cool in the 80s. Right. You know, it, it, and then... They were clearly really trying to make a comeback by making a controversial person the face of their company to try to... Re so 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 we can be talking about Puma right now instead of Nike. Like so, like true, I, but I feel like that but, was their but, ploy. But if we were talking about Puma right now, this conversation would have lasted all of two days. Okay. But we're talking about Nike. Yeah, we're yeah. talking about the yeah. biggest shoe brand in right. the entire world. Right, right. You know, Puma's a nobody in the shoe game now. Yeah. So, you know, all right, cool. Puma got them. We don't buy their shoes. I mean. When was the last time you bought a pair of Pumas? Uh, I can probably say never. Mine was like I I got a free pair a couple years ago from my dad. <laughs> exactly, you know those 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 are you know soccer dad shoes. You I know, do but the New Balance. I do not go to the store looking for Pumas. I go to the store looking for Nikes. So exactly. So so again, th this conversation it would have ended the day that it started. But with it being Nike and the biggest shoe brand in the world, and they sponsor the NFL and. That's that's where that's where the discussion comes in. So now I'm kind of piecing this part here, this part here, and this part here, and making it kind of a uh, maybe jump a jump to conclusion type of thing. But all of Nike shoes are made over in Japan. I saw a stat where their factory workers are 80% females, right? Paying them right. like thirty or forty cents at the thirty or forty cents a, like a day to make these shoes to ship over to America to sell them for a couple hundred of bucks. So it's kind of ironic that Colin Kaepernick kneels for equal rights, racism, and that kind of thing. And when Nike's paying female workers over, like like over there thirty cents a day to make their shoes, like when they're paying the men over there like a dollar to make their shoes. So it's kind of ironic that they you know they hire a controversial person that kneels for equal rights etc 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 when they don't give their own workers equal rights over in japan <laughs> do you well, have see, a thought on that see see i i don't think it's ironic because look i, I gotta sweep my doorstep before i step on yours so we gotta fix our problems before we can worry about somebody else's issues so you're saying it 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 doesn't matter that we are paying women over there twice as less that we are paying men to make the same exact shoes in the same exact factory working 18 hours a day right honestly it doesn't matter to me does it suck yeah probably but when when it comes down to to the nitty-gritty of it i'm worried about i'm worried about what's happening here i can't i can't worry about everybody else in the world so you know hey if they're only making 40 cents an hour you, you should have chose a better career field should have went to college sucks to be you well, and that is exactly what America need, needs to do. I mean, like, I, like, I don't want to get on no political rant, but we kind of just need to stick to ourselves, not worry about everybody else. Like, that is a great, great, uh, like, example that you put there. But I mean, you, yeah. you can't fix everybody. You just, it, it's, it's impossible. You just can't do it. So if, you know, if he wants to raise awareness here and, and what, cool. You can't, you know, you can't, you can't worry about, about these other countries right now. We got we got so much turmoil here. Let's 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 do this. But that's that that's that's also with with him kneeling. Um, my biggest issue. It's it's not even the kneeling part of it. It's how many people has he sat down and spoke to? Let's fix this. 
Yeah. And how many people and, – and, and on the other side of the token, how many people have said, hey, sit down with me, Colin. Let's fix this. Let's, let's, let's brainstorm. Let's come up with something. Nobody. I, I did hear a story of him a, maybe a year ago. He went to did dinner with some actor – and and you know, and because like this actor was I I can't even re remember who it was so that tells you like how big of issue like it like it actually was but like this actor was all fuck Colin fuck you know fuck this 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 and then they actually sat down and like a lot and from and from my understanding is Colin explained to him why he's doing what he's doing and like now the actor is supporting Colin. So, well, see, 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 but, but, but when you take, when you take other athletes who are kneeling right now and who are actually sitting down and meeting with, meeting with police chiefs who are, 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 are starting programs, right. th that's, that's my problem is he's doing a lot of complaining, but he, no solution. Well, he is giving a lot of money to charities and schools and that kind of thing, but you are right. Like this is not fixing the issue like you like you are in the spotlight right now you need to go to uh, s say inner city chicago i mean like crime rate there is like they're like they're averaging like one or two deaths a day so and most of them are young black men being shot by police officers i mean uh like I, like i'm just pulling numbers out but you know that's just the way it is so be in the face of nike right now Go to inner city Chicago, you know, just, just, just like you said, work with those police chiefs, work with the, the, uh, like the mayor or the governor or sh Chicago and figure out how we can fix this. Like, just like, just, just like you said, kneeling does not solve anything. Like it might bring it, it, it your name a up like a conversation little, starter. Yeah. Let, let yeah. me tell you that. But it was then, a hell of a conversation starter. But then but, continue the conversation. Exactly. Fix the issue. Don't just kneel. Exactly. So, Mike, thanks for joining me today. Thanks for having me. I greatly hey. appreciate it, man. Hey, man. Like, I like like I had ideas in my head, but it's always nice to talk to somebody that is, you know, kind of on the same side as I am, like, about the whole issue. And I, like, thank you for joining me, man. Hey, thanks for having me, man. You have a good one. Hey, you too. Well, guys, that was Mike Holmes. Uh, he was currently at work. Uh, he's from, I believe he's from North Carolina. I'm not 100% positive on that. I met him in a Facebook group and like, hey, who wants to talk about Colin? He's like, I do. <laughs> and I thank you, Michael Holmes, for joining me today very much so. So just to recap, Colin Kaepernick has signed a $19 million deal with Nike to become their face of the franchise. For people that don't know who Colin Kaepernick is, he was a San Francisco 49er quarterback, and he is the first person to kneel during the national anthem to protest that black men are not getting equal rights as white men. Uh, I believe at the time there were, that there were a bunch of shootings in the news that white officers were shooting young black men. And so he was taking a knee to raise awareness of this issue, like I guess. Uh, I'm not for sure exactly what the details go go into. So if you guys know, it, be sure to comment below and let me know exactly what uh, he was kneeling for. Um, and if you agree or disagree of why he was actually kneeling. But in the end, Nike has signed Colin Kaepernick to be the face of their for fran franchise. Colin Kaepernick, in return, is suing the NFL for colluding against him to not allow him in the NFL uh, when there's been at least three teams that I can think of that have offered him contracts since he was uh, since it's all started one being the Baltimore Ravens Denver Broncos and there was another team I cannot remember who it, like it was but in the end he's suing the NFL so Nike is the jersey maker for the NFL. The NFL pays him like $10 billion a year to do this. So in a roundabout way, he is poking his employer to you know give him more money. But at the end of the day, I want you guys to comment below. If you agree or disagree with Colin Kaepernick, uh, there's a poll up at the top. Click on the little exclamation point. There's a poll. Are you going to buy Nike still? Yes or no? <laughs> the answer to the question is yes. 
if you say no, you're an idiot. Nike has by far the best shoes out there. If you don't agree agree with that, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Uh, so, in the end, vote. <laughs> Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're listening to us on Google Podcast, Stitcher, Breaker, uh, iTunes, Apple Music, etc., be sure to give us a follow. Between the three or four podcasts that we do here on RTF Productions, we are uploading almost every day. So, RTF Sports Talk is live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning at 9.45. That podcast is uploaded shortly right after the show is done. Uh, Mornings with Mike is live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9.45. That is uploaded instantly as soon as we're done here. Uh, We have another podcast, The Big Blue Breakdown, Wednesday nights at 7.30. Uh, We upload that as soon as we're done filming that as well. And then we have a new and coming up show called Left Turn with my man Chris Hill. That's NASCAR for all you NASCAR fans. Uh, We will... Uh, we we will be recording that on Wednesday night as well, and that's that that's uploaded Thursday in the morning. So there's a lot of stuff happening here at RTF Productions. You know, we are throwing you guys content every day except for Saturdays. Saturdays are just our chill days. It's college football days, so we just we we just chill. So, but Sunday through Friday, 9:45 every day on the East Coast AM, we are live on the YouTube channel. So be sure to join us, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Click on that bell icon, click on the all notifications, and every time we're live, you will see it. They'll be like, hey, RTF Productions is live. So share the word. Share this with two people, if, if you would, today, please. Uh, you know, let's just, let's just, let's uh, keep the momentum going, guys. And uh, thanks for joining us as always. And we'll see you uh, Sunday at 945 with RTF Sports Talk. Bye. Making a story, making sure his click stays up. That means when he puts it down, talks picking it up. Let's go. Who the hell is he anyway? He never really talks much. Never concerned with status, but still even in starstruck. Humble through opportunities, giving this.